Welcome back to Super Mario 64. Today, yeah, Mario's on fire. <laughs> I didn't have any opening, so we're just gonna hop right into this one. We're going back to the fall off the land. Yay, question mark. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. I don't know. I didn't really like this area the, uh, the first time I played it during my time with the remake. And then I played it this time. And it wasn't that bad, in my opinion. Currently, I, I don't really know if I enjoy or dislike this stage anymore now, because I just... I don't know. It's, I'm kind of indifferent towards it, I guess. I don't know how else to describe it. I made it. <laughs> like always, this is a new session, so... You know, I I don't really remember much of uh, what I said during the last ep last couple episodes, but I do remember talking about anime for a long time, and I don't want to get into it again. But I have started watching Quintessential Quintuplets on episode two. Just there's an update from last time, I guess. <laughs> Today, uh, Pyra Mifra's, uh, presentation, uh, came out today, and they look extremely good. They look like great, fun characters, and I cannot wait to play with them. I will say I'm terrified because they do look like really good characters, and they are a DLC. So it's like, I mean, yeah, obviously they're gonna be good characters there. They cost money. But I will say not all DLC characters are are necessarily that good. Because, you know, I'm someone who grew up with Smash 4. Well not grew up, but I played Smash 4 a lot. Um, and we all remember Cloud and Bayonetta. You know, we we all experienced money at its finest and we all experienced uh that at its finest and i will say that you know they're good they were good characters and i think now it is time for pirate mifra to get what they truly deserve because it, they're probably like one of if not my favorite characters that they uh added for dlc because you know there were every other character, it was cool. Steve, I didn't really give a shit. He's stupidly annoying to fight, so... Um... Sephiroth was badass, but I don't really care that much about Final Fantasy, because I haven't really played any of the games, so... That's that issue. But Sephiroth, oh, he's my favorite DLC character by far. Oh, I absolutely adore Sephiroth, he's so awesome! And tell me why his, his victory animations have no reason to be as cool as they are, but they're amazing. Now, if I do any Smash content on Pyro Mifra uh, around the time they're announced, I doubt it. But if you'd like to see anything, comment down below. I could do um, my my thoughts on how good the characters are going to be. From what I've seen, they look extremely good. And... Oh my god, Mifra and Pyra being like extreme... If Sheik and Zelda and Melee... But like, Zelda was also good. Because we all know Zelda wasn't that good till Ultimate. Well, hopefully we all know this. Ah, oh, damn it. I never understood the shifting tiles. But now I do because they caused me great pain and suffering like that. Along with Hazy Mace Cape, this gave me a fair bit of trouble doing the 100 coins for. I will say, didn't take as long. You know, I, I this was easier for me, only because I, I knew how, to, you know, how to do it and like what were like the optimal tactics and whatnot. But 
It is. It was extremely difficult. That happened. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know if that's a speedrunner tactic, but I clipped through the bridge. So there was that. There is a shell on this level. I don't remember where the shell is specifically, but there is a shell uh, that you have to get for a good chunk of the coins. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't go on a shifting tile. Come on. God, this is terrifying. Okay, got that. Ooh. I, I've mentioned before, but I'm a, a big Smash Bros. player. Not big in the sense that I, um, you know, I have a name for myself, because if this channel is anything, I don't. <laughs> but I will say I absolutely adore the game. Um, I know a lot about the competitive scene, and I have a blast playing that game. It's what got me into Nintendo, with the exception of Pokemon. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but it got me into Nintendo. It's what taught me the wonders of Zelda. Metroid. Any franchise that's not Mario or Pokemon, really. I did it. I wanted to do a, a kick jump. Okay, okay, we gotta wait for other oh, cycle, other oh, cycle, other oh, cycle. Gotta wait for it. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Oh. That was so close. Okay, let me keep talking about Smash Bros. I guess it's gonna be the Smash Bros. episode. Uh, I won't lie, sitting and talking about anime for way too long just because I, I was thinking about watching a ton of new ones that I haven't seen before. I will say, absolutely, um, like my personal, my so far favorite episode to record. Uh, well, from R64 at least, my all-time favorites would probably be like the first podcast because it's just so dumb fun and wholesome. Not wholesome in the sense that it is, but like, you had to be there. Just, you had to be there, you know? You know, I could do the wing tap tactic and burn Mario. <sighs> God. Not having like any chance for recovery, like you just butt bounce. Oh, it, it's terrifying. Come on. Uh oh, bad cycle. We were on the bad cycle, bad cycle, bad cycle. The star, we're gonna see this appear like 20 more times and not collect it, so. Oh, God. you know what? We're out of here. We're out of here. You know, Smash Bros. was like it was a revolutionary game because it basically invented a genre. Uh, that's most Nintendo games, really, but. It's just so dumb fun, and it's what, and it's just holds a spec. Well, Brawl specifically holds a special place in my heart for being like the game that introduced me to the wonderful world of Nintendo. And I main uh, just, I mained Kirby and Brawl. Um, Kirby and uh, I secondaried Kirby and main the Link in Smash Four, and then I main currently I main Pikachu in Ultimate. And I second Kirby, but I was considering dropping Kirby for other characters just because, like, you know, I'm extremely good with a, a large part of the cast, I guess. Like, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but like, I I I can I've picked up most characters and I know how to play them 
I would say fairly well for someone who isn't trying to main them. And like my, I got a nasty Donkey Kong. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm really good with Yoshi. I'm obligated to be. For some reason, ever since I started calling myself True Blue Yoshi, I was able to play him. Like I could not play him at all. I start calling myself True Blue Yoshi, and now I can play him to hell and back. If that's a good or bad thing, I don't know. You know, I know a lot of people dislike Yoshi in the Smash scene, but I, I can play him fairly well, and I think... I did consider remaining him because of my namesake, and I was like, do I really want the Smash community to hate me? Uh, yeah. The price to pay, you know? Uh, I don't know if these guys drop coins. There still is coins over here, if I'm correct, that I can grab. I think there's a few over here, but there's not much. I think the shell's also over here. Land, land, land! No, he bounced off! <laughs> I had so many star st coins, not stars. I wasn't collecting stars, collect coins. Maybe let me clarify why I made Pikachu just hit me. I was like, man, people are gonna think I'm a. I, I want it for the tears and. No, no, I. I don't know. I was just messing with. I, you know, I normally, uh, when I play with friends, I mess around and I'll, like, play a ton of characters because I don't like playing my mains, uh, against my friends because, you know, we play for fun. If I pick up- if I started playing Kirby or Pikachu, I'm playing for the win, so, you know, I normally don't play my mains. And I was playing Pikachu one day against my friend, uh, my main man, Little T, Happy B-Day. I'm recording this on his B-Day, so happy birthday. For his, I'll throw his Twitter in the description again. <laughs> oh, that was way too stressful. E, 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 E. Letter E. Oh, they're moving fast. They're moving fast. They're moving fast. I'm holding right. I am holding right, and I pray you're going right. Thank you. Pick up that coin. Come on. Come on. Pat. It doesn't have to do with Smash, but uh, whatever that movie was called. Uh, it was. It starred uh, Nicolas Cage. It came out this year. It was like shitty FNAF, whatever that thing was called. Uh, so me and the boys were on Discord. You know, we're sitting, we're chilling. We were watching the fight scenes, and I, my first thought was, "This is a real movie. This, like this was a real movie." Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, they basically made a movie where Nicolas Cage beats the shit out of really weird and like kind of cheap making, cheap looking uh, costumes that are like supposedly animatronics of like dead spirits or whatever. It's just FNAF. It's what the FNAF movie is probably gonna end up being and ooh. Ooh, two for one. There we go. Come on. You gotta burn up for the others. What a feisty one. Okay. Give me that coin. I don't need to fight you, so I won't. Land, land, land. Nope, nope, nope. Just 
gonna play safe. We are just gonna play safe. Not risking anything. Ooh, that was a bit risky right there. Good thing there's a one up here that I can keep grabbing. Okay. Good thing I'm doing a coin level or else I would be struggling to get back my, my lives. I grab these coins. Okay, just to give my thoughts. I have not seen the movie. Uh, I only know what my friends have told me, and the fight scenes that last two seconds, and a Mexican robot was run over. Weird-ass movie. It was a weird-ass movie, I tell you. Apparently, it was straight to DVD, uh, which is how you know that's a top-of-the-line movie right there, if it's straight to DVD. They're not a single coin over here, it's just a different star. Oh, come back. Come back. Oh, no. E. Come on. Is there no... Oh, I think I remember how you get back from here. I know that I think they implemented a way to get back uh, in the DS version. Don't quote me on that. I don't know how much I really want to risk uh, trying this now, but I got no other options. Yep, okay. If I didn't get hit the second time, I could have made it too. That's a damn shame. Is that intended? Doubt it. <sighs> do I have to collect all those coins again? Yes, I do. You know, I did talk about FNAF and I talked about Smash Bros. So let's talk about something similar to both of those. No, not Freddy and Smash. I would cry if he was in Smash. Because first off, I think he'd be terrible. Because I don't know how the hell you'd in implement like a good moveset on him. Secondly, I would hate to see what that me costume would look like. focused here so I, I don't lose all of my lives. The yellow coins are gonna spawn so you gotta pick those up. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it. We're gonna get the we're gonna get our life back anyway. Or we might die trying. Just play it safe, play it safe, play it safe, get that coin. Never mind, we're <laughs> apparently we're not. Yes, we can bring you all the way. Man. God, this is stressful. Bring me to the coin land. Yeah. 
Okay, there's one. Sorry when I keep going quiet, it's just I'm focused and I don't want to lose the rest of my lives. God damn it. I was gonna talk about the my hopes for the FNAF movie in all honesty, but it's like I don't even know if I'm gonna watch it. Only because I don't do well with horror, like in the absolute slightest. Uh horror horror video games are nothing. Horror movies, I mm. Hmm. I can't. Horror video games, I can play no problem because it's like, it's whatever. But you you tell me, hey, watch a horror movie. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, actually, no. Let me scratch the horror games uh, off the list. Uh, VR horror games. Like, uh, Help Wanted. Uh, Final Fantasy Freddy's Help Wanted. Ooh, I almost shit myself. It's, it's a genuinely scary game, in my opinion. And, you know, it, it, it's really nice because the other FNAF games were like, mm, eh. It's not, it's not scary, it's just that damn loud-ass screech that they do. You know, their, their loud crying noise, it's just so, oh, it hurts the ears. You turn the volume down, though. No, it's, it, it's not that God. Well. <sighs> um, on. Okay. Whew. You know, there's not many things, you know, like media wise, like that stuff that really scares me. But horror movies do. Horror TV shows, not so much. Used to, nowadays, it's, I don't know what it is, just a, a movie that's like horror based just does not uh, sit well with me, I guess. Where's the shell? Like, how, do you, how do you get the shell on the stage again? Yeah, what? What shell? Is there... Is there something we're supposed to do to get the shell first? Because there's the wing cap. And I don't know how useful the wing cap's gonna be, because I'm probably gonna end up dying with my, my track record with this damn thing. God, this is stressful. I, I am not confident to swoop in grab those, so we're not going to. Ah, uh, I think we're gonna lose the, the wing cap. Whew. I can't see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, made it in time. Yeah, just saying, uh, you can't really do the red coin star and the hundred coin star at the same time because you gotta end up coming in here at some point, so. I mean, you, you definitely can. But I'm just gonna go. E, e, e. We ain't testing that one. It's a bit longer episode. Apologies on my part for being so bad at the game. I'll probably edit out a fair bit. No, not edit out, but um, speed up maybe some of the quiet parts or something. Or I'll just let that runtime keep going. Yeah, there's there's more than enough with any here, but like outside, I think you, I think it is possible. God, 
The, this this place always just screws me over. We're gonna have to end up coming back in here again anyway, but. God, got that. Mm. Yeah, if I mess up like a single time now, it's, it's game over. God, oh, the stress. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. 64 stars. I think it's fitting. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share this video. I hope everyone who watched this has a lovely day today and tomorrow. Peace.